meeting to discuss the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. And tonight the protesters are filling the streets, but it seems to be less about violence. This evening the focus is on making a point. Tonight, True News anchor Russ McCaskey joins us live with how the community is trying to get back to normal. Right, Russ? Absolutely, Karen. You know, Ferguson is fighting to try to get back to normal. There's protesters. You can see the end of the train here. They make a continuous loop and they do that most all night long. There's some signs that Ferguson is starting to get back to normal and that's good and positive. And just a couple blocks up this road, we went and visited tonight the place where it all started, where a police officer gunned down a teenager and it touched off a firestorm of controversy. Instead of tear gas, it's the sweet smell of barbecue that fills the air over Ferguson, Missouri. Reds was damaged and looted in the chaos, but the will be back promise is now a reality. Just get things back to normal. I think that that's that's good to uplift the spirits of the neighborhood. A couple blocks away from where the main protest is going on, this is where it all began. This is where Michael Brown was gunned down in the street. Now a makeshift memorial fills the center of the road. People who live nearby say it's a reminder every day of what happened. It's something they're still trying to come to terms with. This was a pedestrian walking across the street as it, it, you know, as if you or I and the police come by and tell them to get out the street and that goes from from zero to murder in 10 seconds and that didn't make any sense to anybody and it still doesn't make any sense. Meantime, as night falls, the protest pushes on, but more organized than before. The people in orange shirts are clergy, acting as liaisons between police and the protesters. It seems to be making a difference. Tonight we come together as one, and we're going to stand as one, and we're going to march as one. So tonight the protest continues. A very large crowd tonight, uh, but it does seem that the emphasis now seems to be more on letting voices be heard, getting the word out, and a whole lot less about violence. We'll see if that holds up throughout the night. Live in Ferguson, Russ McCaskey, 2 News Works for You. All right, thank you, Russ. New at 10, a Green Country Den.